What is up, savages? Coach Jeff here, coming at you with another Savage Anywhere Rhino Challenge. Uh, wanna say great job to all of you who are crushing Rhino. Um, well done. Hope to see you at an upcoming Savage. Some of you are wrapping up Ox. Some of you are in the middle of Cobra. Uh, keep at it. Stick to it. We want to send you that shirt and medal. And don't forget, uh, Rhino counts toward your Savage Syndicate for 2021. If you haven't registered, go to savagerace.com. Find a race. You will see the Savage Anywhere Rhino Challenge. All right, check this out. Right behind me, we introduced in the Cobra the rope ascent. And uh, I've got a modification here. Went out to my uh, local Goodwill store and they had this sheet here. It's a twin size sheet. I twisted it up, put some duct tape on it, and this is my rope. Total cost, $1. So uh, find yourself a tree branch, a pull-up bar. You're gonna, that's what you're gonna need. That's your equipment for Rhino 5. Without further ado, Rhino 5, grip and rip. All right, savages, this challenge has three parts. The first part is a 21-15-9 rep scheme of two movements, pull-ups and V-ups, right? So 21 reps of pull-ups, 21 reps of V-ups, 15 pull-ups, 15 V-ups, nine of each, and you're done with part one. Few minutes rest and you'll move to part two, a 10-minute AMRAP. You're gonna work for 10 minutes and get as many rounds as possible of three movements. Five rope ascents, 10 single leg glute bridges, and then 50 double unders with your rope. If, you're, if you can't do double unders, you'll do 100 single unders. 10 minute AMRAP. Few minutes rest and you'll move to the final part, part three, five sets of a max bar hold with one minute rest in between, right? Three parts, that is Rhino 5, grip and rip. Let's break it down. The first part, 21-15-9 of pull-ups and V-ups. Uh, pull-ups, uh, if you wanna do strict, if you wanna do butterfly or kipping, as long as you reach full extension and your chin comes up over the bar. Scaled options, you've got jumping pull-ups, you've got low bar pull-ups, you've got ring rows, instructional videos and options will be in the description. V-ups, challenging movement for your core. Scaled option for that will be general sit-ups, right? So part two, the AMRAP of rope climbs, single leg uh, glute bridges, and your ropes, right? So single leg glute bridges, there's an instructional video. Make sure you reach full extension of the hip. Keep your hip parallel. Uh, with the ground and uh, uh, you can do 10 reps. It's just five left and five right on those single leg glute bridges and then your ropes. Now, let's talk about our rope ascent. I've got my dollar sheet here, tied it to my pull up bar. You are gonna start, right? Your feet are gonna be at the base of the rope. You're gonna start with a fully extended Hip on the ground, shoulders on the ground, and you're gonna to try to pull yourself up while keeping your body straight. Foot kind of slid a little bit. Then you're gonna lower yourself right back down, pulling yourself right back up, right? These are rope ascents. Scaled version of the rope ascent is to, of course, bend your knees, bring your hips down underneath, pull yourself up to the top, let yourself down in the same way, resting your glutes and your shoulders on the ground before starting the next rep. That's part two, right? Part three, five sets of a max bar hold. Scaled option will be a max bar hang. When I say max bar hold, that's right, savages, you're gonna hold at the top. You're gonna jump up, pull yourself up, chins above the bar, hands over the bar or under the bar, but not cross, right? Over, under, not opposite. Hold it for as long as you can. And then when you drop, you've got one minute rest before you go to set number two. Do that for five sets. That is Savage Anywhere, Rhino 5, Grip and Rip. Get after it, Savages.